you know, let's just talk for a second about what is the Earth's electromagnetic field. Because that, that is really um, the concept here that we need to understand. And the Earth's electromagnetic field is, is really a marriage between the Sun and the Earth. And the Earth is a spinning uh, a sphere with iron in the middle of it, molten iron that sloshes back and forth. And uh, it, that generates an, an, a magnetic field around the Earth. And, um, and then the Sun is a, an exploding star. It's just emanating pure energy, or ions and high energy particles. So the interaction between the sun and the, and the earth creates an electromagnetic field. And the way that, the best way to visualize that is there's an ionosphere that, that developed that protects us from the sun's radiation, but that's in enough for the earth to be, you know, to have the energy it needs. And um, so, and then there's, so the ionosphere is one sphere, and then there's the earth itself is a small sphere within the ionosphere. And, uh, the, um, and then that has created sort of the balance between the ionosphere and the crust of the Earth. The crust of the Earth is negative, the ionosphere is positive. There's a balance, an electromagnetic balance that's established by lightning. So lightning, at any moment in time, there's something like 3,000, 2,000 strikes of lightning that balances out that that uh, positive and negative. And so uh, basically that is called the Schumann resonance because those lightning strikes generate a standing field. So whenever lightning strikes, this, these waves go out from that point all around the globe and then meet each other and then uh, create a standing wave. So that is the Earth's electromagnetic field. And in that standing wave, uh, all information, every, everything, one of the things about electromagnetic fields that's important to understand is that they absorb information and then give the information out. So when you make a telephone call, you get, uh, you, uh, the electromagnetic waves absorb the information on one end and then give it out to you on the other end, basically. And, um, so, so that's basically uh, the Earth's, is this, the human resonance is the Earth's electromagnetic field, or the part of it that absorbs all the information, every thought that is, every, every person whatever, who's ever thought or felt anything, uh, the, um, all the animals, all the plants, uh, anything that happens on the crust of the Earth is uh, absorbed by the human resonance. And the same thing on that larger ionosphere, anything that happens anywhere in the universe is absorbed and as information into the Schumann resonance. So uh, we have, we evolved in that field. That is our, that's our mother, you could even say. So that's uh, where life developed many of its timing mechanisms, the um, pine pineal gland receives a lot of that information, magnetite within the brain. Lot, even the uh, DNA coils of every cell are in resonance with that electromagnetic field. And of course, one of the things that's happened with the alternating current in, in, the, um, in the past, uh, really around the early 1900s, is the electrification of the environment has basically uh, isolated us or separated us from that basic resonance in the Earth. Now, can you explain how man-made radiation is different from the Schumann resonance and the basic natural resonances that have formed our bodies from well, the very beginning? Okay. Well, um, I think one of the most uh, th there's one of the most dramatic. Uh, statements of the descriptions of the hazard of alternating current is uh, Sam Samuel Mil Milham has uh, in 2007 he published an article 
He's an epidemiologist in Washington State. And he looked at the uh, rates for stroke, um, cardiovascular, cancer, and diabetes, and suicide. And he found that they directly correlated with electrification. With the time frame. In, yeah. In other words, those parts of the United States, well, this was in, in around 1940-50, half the United States had been electrified. And half was the rural, was mostly non-electrified. Most of the urban areas had been electrified. He was able to show that, that in the, in the uh, urban areas, that these rates had skyrocketed, had doubled and tripled, whereas in the rural areas, they were still very low. And as the, these rural areas were electrified, the rates started to go.